It was about two weeks after my seventh birthday in 1941 when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. On the same day, they attacked and occupied Thailand. From the bedroom window with my mother, I remember watching a large group of people marching along the street. As a child, I knew very little about the war. The Allies bombing of Bangkok was my worst experience. One night at school, I was so scared when I woke up to the sounds of siren, bombing, bomb explosion, and the crumbling of buildings. That same night, one of the bombs destroyed the warehouse where my parents stored all our belongings, preparing to move away from Bangkok. Sixteen years later, in 1957, the movie Bridge on the River Kwai came out, and I learned about what had happened during the war while the bridge was being built by the Japanese to connect the railway from Thailand to Burma. The movie was a great success, a deep impression on me. However, by that time, I have seen the picture. I had already left the U.S. for a year. I ended up spending my life in the States and was able to occasionally return to Thailand to visit my family. It finally dawned on me in 2011, at the age of 77, that my time was running short. If I wanted to see Thailand again, I must do it while I still could travel. My niece who lives in Bangkok was my wonderful companion the whole month I visited in February 2012. She mentioned a tourist spot popularized by the movie, Bridge on the River Kwai, and asked if I had ever heard of it. Talk about a long wait since 1957. It was finally happening. Less than two hours on the freeway from Bangkok, I saw the bridge. There were many people walking from one end of the bridge to the other, and we joined a crowd. As we walked across, I saw a beautiful Buddhist temple at the far end of the bridge on the bank of the river. A very large of Guan Yin stood in front of the temple facing the river and the bridge. In the Chinese Buddhist tradition, Guan Yin represents love and compassion. With all death and suffering that occurred there during the war, I could not think of anything more appropriate. Back in the U.S., I learned that the movie story was not wholly accurate. Two bridges were built, one of wood and the other of steel. Both were destroyed by the Allies bombing in 1944 and not blown up by the heroes as depicted in the movie. Now, 70 years later, the repaired bridge is still in excellent condition. The beautiful river continues to flow gently and peacefully. However, it is hard to miss the memorial plaque that tells the history as well as the nearby cemeteries. Today, I still feel the presence of Kuan Yin looking over the bridge, the river, and the people, reminding us to have love and compassion for all beings. Finally, I arrive at the closure of my personal childhood experience of World War II.